We all know how much small businesses mean to the community. The spots everyone knows and loves bring us together as our local businesses are what makes our community unique and special. We know that over the years, you've given back to our local nonprofits, schools, sports, police, fire, and our local businesses. We appreciate all of it so much, and we would like to help you out by giving you a chance to say hello to the community and a chance to tell everyone all about your establishment. So now I'll let you introduce yourself, your position, and your business. Um, thank you, Mia. Thank you for the opportunity of speaking with you today. Um, my name is Kevin Oboy, uh, the owner and general manager of the Horse and Carriage Restaurant located at the junctions of 115 and 1A. Uh, we have been here uh, with the same ownership since 1984. Um, so we, we have been here um, a long time uh, and we're still trucking along through the pandemic. We're open um, right now during the pandemic times, we're open five days a week from 3.30 to 8. We serve uh, curbside takeaway and in-house dining all five of those days. Uh, you can order uh, via telephone at the moment uh, and you place your order, come down in a half hour, bring it out to your car. It's pretty easy, simple. Or you can come down at this time and um, dine inside. So we welcome everyone to come down and visit or give us a call. Um, tell us more about uh, your story and how you got started. You said you started uh, back in the 80s. So, but what, uh, how did that, how did you like get rolling with that? Um, I'd have to, I'd have to bless my father for the opportunity. Um, we, I was originally in the restaurant business in Brookline, Massachusetts, my hometown. Um, my father was a real estate developer and back then there was no internet. The local real estate uh, listings would be, would be under business opportunities and the Boston Globe. And he found a parcel of land out here that he thought would be an intriguing project. And he drove me out here. And the first thing I said to him, I said, are you out of your mind? Um, but um, I had incredible faith in my father and believing in what he knew was a better business idea than me. So it was a good opportunity. He followed the demographics of the town. And at the time, I believe in 1984, the, I think the population was like 4,000 people. And uh, what I've been told recently, it's uh, right around 13,000 now. So he had a good feeling that this community was really about to blow up and it did. Not only Norfolk, but Walpole, Foxborough, Rentham, all exploded at the same level. Uh, what is your favorite thing about being a small business in Norfolk? I think it's the small town atmosphere. I mean, Brookline is a, uh, is, isn't, it's geographically a small town, especially compared to Norfolk. Brookline is uh, basically, it's roughly six square miles. Norfolk totally dwarfs it. But when I grew up in Brookline, it was really a small town feel where you knew all the police, fire, and everyone lived in the town. And that's the type of town I was accustomed to. But it was a challenge for me to first come out here um, because I didn't know anybody. I didn't even know where Norfolk was. But the, um, the community embraced the restaurant, my staff, and our people. And um, it's been a true blessing. Uh, what type of food do you sell? And are there any like fan favorites? Well, we're pretty, our menu is pretty diversified. I mean, if, uh, if you're coming in with your kids and we have a pretty uh, enhanced children's menu, um, so it's not the type of place where you couldn't come in and have a meal for you, your wife, and your two kids and figure you're going to get clobbered. Um, we are certainly not the cheapest um, on the street but our food product is everything is made from scratch. We buy nothing frozen. Our fish is delivered seven days, uh, six days a week, well, how many days we're open. Uh, our two most popular dishes over the years have been our, uh, our baked haddock and our broiled scrod, or I could have those reversed. But I think our number one seller since the uh, pandemic has started has been our prime rib. 
Uh, we bought some slow, uh, slow roasting cooking ovens and we cook our prime rib for uh, approximately nine to 10 hours, Thursdays through Saturdays. And that has been an amazing hit. But we sell chicken, we sell burgers, we sell, uh, we sell some pork, a uh, great array of salads. So we're pretty all over the place. Um, as long as we, we can keep the quality and the level um, level of that quality as high as we can with uh, with such a small time of our, our serving hours. Is there a fun fact about your business that the community might like to learn about you? Um, I think our most fun fact about the horse and carriage restaurant, without question, is our family within our restaurant. Um, we only seat about 125 people. So at any given time, we may employ 20 to 30 people, but currently the tenured employees of our restaurant, we have over 350 years of people that would, with extended service in our restaurant. My two executives, my executive chef and my head chef, uh, Vinny Megner and uh, Morris Nager have both been with me almost since they had turned the key in February of 1984. And I have numerous uh, staff members that have been with me for 30, 25. Uh, I think we have 15 employees currently that have been with me for 20 years or longer. So that is by far what uh, is a pretty amazing. So we have, a, we have this wonderful mixologist named Junior and he's been here for 10 years and we call him the newbie. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, are there any uh, final messages you'd like to send out to the community? I'd like to thank the community for everything they've done to support us. Um, our regular customers historically have always been incredible and incredibly generous to my staff during this difficult time. Uh, they have really, really, really been incredible. Um, and I can't thank you enough for helping my family because um, that's what they all are to me. And it's been a challenging time. Uh, we want to continue to stay busy. And I want to thank everyone again, but please keep us in mind for curbside takeout. Uh, we'll, we're open this Sunday for on Sunday for Valentine's Day, not usually open on Sundays, but we are open this Sunday. Uh, so we invite everybody to come down. Uh, we have been here a long time, but we have changed with the times and we feel that we still do. A, I'm so proud of my kitchen staff uh, that I can't I'm so proud of all my staff. It, it really, really tickles my heart. So I thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Mia Valencia and thank you for tuning in.